I'm a sanctified soldier. If you're a sanctified soldier, get on up and come on up here and tell what the Lord has done for you. Listen, I'm going to open my big bell and let the world know. God ain't dead. God ain't dead. God ain't dead. And he turned me over to the undertaker. But here I stand. Thank you, dude. Turn me over to the undertaker. Turn you over to the undertaker. Turn me over to the undertaker. Couldn't do me no good because I had that drops in the heart throat and my heart was very bad. Hi. Till I Throw get... up. Throw it all up. Big as a bell all over legs. Look like about a bus every minute. Put that cloth on me three days and three nights. I was a healed woman. I was healed. Hallelujah. I was healed. Yeah, you know, woman. Come on, Mom. In Gary now. In Gary now. Gary, Gary. Now I want y'all to look you, at this woman. Come on, Mom. Yeah, there ain't oh, a spot on her nowhere. Y'all can hear her jumping. Hey, come on. Do you know oh, he's God alive? I can say God is not dead because he gave me my sight the other Sunday. Give me your sight. Sunday. When the three Hebrew boys were put in the fiery front. The king got trouble on his throne. And he, to see what happened to the boy. But when he looked in there, he said, I put in three, but then another one in there. Look back the son of God. Listen, my friend. God will be with you in trouble. God will be with you in sickness. God will be with you in your town. Cause God ain't dead. Some 
have you in the hospital. You feel like you're going to die. Maybe they told your people you're going to die. Why should you die before your time? Listen, if you can't move nothing, down in your soul. Tell the devil, God ain't dead. God ain't dead. Chicago night. 9315 Chicago night. Listen, friends, this program this time is to let you know God's alive. And if you go ahead on and die, it's because you don't seek after the truth and live in God. Now it's time for our pastor that's gonna extend this and let you know in what other form he's alive. Thank you, Jesus. Don't forget to write now. 9315. This has been your announcement commentator. Matty B. Poo leaving you with this, hallelujah, with this same verse. God is not dead. My friends, it's my extreme pleasure to come to you. Thank you, Jesus. Will you turn your Bibles to 121st Psalm? That's what come to my mind. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made the heaven and earth. My friend, when we can look up to one that made the heavens, not one heaven, but the heavens and the earth, that gives us to know that God is a living reality. He can do more than we can ask a thing. I will lift up our eyes to the hill. Why? Because he had a saying in many times. He had to look to God. You know, when you have to look to God, that means much. When you look to God, God can deliver you. God delivered him many, many times. Why? Because he was looking to the hill. His help come from the hill. From God that made the heaven and earth, regardless of how sick you are, regardless of what the devil has said to you, look to the hill. Amen. Where well, that's where our help come from. Our help come from God Almighty. And God is alive. He can do more than you can ask to think right now. 
Some of you might be suffering so badly until everything is told you you can't get well. But my friend, God Almighty, is able. He's alive. He's not dead. Thank God. Just like a healer sick when he was on earth, he raised the dead. He gave sight to the blind. He called the lame to walk. He called the deaf to hear. He opened the eyes of the blind. God is not dead, but he's alive evermore. I'm reminded when Jesus stood up, he said, Amen. I'm alive evermore and have the keys of death and hell in my hand. Oh, praise God is alive. He can help you. He has helped us. He can help me. He can help you because God is alive. God is not dead right now. Some of you might be suffering so bad. You don't know what to do. But my friend, lift up your eyes to the hill. Amen. Look to the one. Look up to the one that ruled the heaven and the earth. Look up to one, praise God, that walked on the Sea of Galilee. Look up to the one that told the wind and the wave, peace be still. He's not dead, but he's alive evermore. John saw him. When John saw him, he fell in the dead man. He laid his hand on him and said, Amen, I'm him that liveth and was dead, but I'm alive evermore. I have the keys of death. I have the keys of hell in my hand. As long as he had the keys of death, as long as he had the keys of hell in his hand, just look to him. Just look to him. He's able to hold you. He's able to keep you. Even a thousand might fall by your side. Ten thousand might fall by, at your right hand. But won't nothing come by your dwelling. Amen. What must we do? To stay in the secret place of the Most High. And abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He's able. Thank God David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Yeah, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. Thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff does comfort me. Thou prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God is all right. He's all right. Thank you, Jesus. I'm reminded. He told us to go all the way and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs of Father and believe in my name. I give you power to cast out death. I give you power. Lay hands on the sick and the sick will get up and walk. Hallelujah. Amen, my friend. God is not dead. He's alive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm reminded, before he stepped on the cloud, he told Peter, James and John, 120, amen. He told him, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you. Amen, I want you to go in Jerusalem. You'll be with the men in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and under the ultimate part of the earth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I told him, wait for the promise. Don't leave, but just wait. Just don't leave. I'll be back. Just stay there until the opportune time comes. When the time comes, suddenly there come a sound from heaven. As a rushing mighty wind, fill the house where they're sitting. That set upon them cloven tongues, like as a fire, set up on each of them. They were all filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance. Oh, preach God is not dead. Many of them there, they say they're drunk. Some say they're crazy. Some say they're beside themselves. But Peter said, these men are not drunk. You say they're drunk, they're not drunk. This is that that was spoken by the prophet Joel. Joel said, it shall come to pass, says God. I will pour out my spirit. That's what God does. God just poured out his spirit. Amen. When he poured out his spirit upon you. Hallelujah. You can't resist it. 
You can't resist the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. When he poured his spirit out on you, you can't resist it. All you can do is just, just well, you, uh, you're not crazy, amen, but you're just beside yourself. Holy Ghost is the power. Everyone needs it. When God poured his spirit out, out upon you, it, it changed whatever you're doing. Amen. You're doing wrong and make you do right. I'm talking about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Peter stood there and preached that message. They began to tremble under the power and inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Peter told him, you with wicked hands have crucified the Lord of glory. And God has raised him from the dead. Now it's both Lord and Christ. When he said those words, Amen said, men and brethren, what shall we do? Peter said, repent every one of you. Get baptized in Jesus' name. For the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because the promises unto you and to your children. To them that's far off. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. He said with many other words. Peter said save yourself. My friend it's time now to save yourself. You need to be saved. You need the Holy Ghost. You need to be baptized in Jesus name. And get the Holy Ghost. You need to be saved. 